So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're a new here girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed, we have a good time on this channel. As you seen by the title, today's video is how to romanticize your life. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Shout out to today's sponsor, Kin. Kin is not new on my channel. I worked with them last year when I made this video, which I'm going to leave on the screen. I was talking about how I was going through a rot in my life. I was going through this phase of my life where I really didn't understand what I was doing, my purpose, like things were actually clicking it was unusual i was going through like a transition that's what it felt like i'm quite aware of things that i need to do to get myself out of certain situations but this period just seemed like it was a different era it was a new me when kin reached out to me i felt like it was nature i needed to speak to someone who could give me a deeper understanding or like a better understanding of the situation i was going through through at the time and then that was the first time I spoke to an advisor on Keen. It pretty much aligned with the thoughts I had, the way I was feeling, confirmation I needed. I mentioned to you guys that I talked to two advisors at the time just to see if they were going to give me a similar situation of my current event and they did. And it was spot on, like it was spot on. So this time when I was reached out again by Kin to actually try the service, I'm in this point where it's not as deep as it was last year, but I'm actually going through a phase where things are a little bit unstable for me mentally. And you know, some certain situations are just unclear. My path is beginning to take a different direction and stuff like that. I would say a month to two months has just been a little bit of a struggle. This is normal, like it's a relatable situation in everyone's life where things just seem to happen in different phases and cycles. The video where I talked about how to motivate yourself when you're feeling unmotivated, I spoke about how I believe in life, you know, being in phases and cycles. It happens sometimes that your, your life is going like on a straight path. Things are just going normal and smooth and then later on it just becomes different or something just switches or something just changes. This is also the perfect time for Kim to come into this situation. I'm speaking to an advisor that I spoke to about this current situation gave me also confirmation to what I'm going through like it's always spot on for me with these advisors on Kim. I definitely would recommend for anyone who just needs to speak to someone or an advisor or needs clarity on certain situations you could always find an advisor for different reasons or different situations on Kin. If this is your first time hearing of Kin, or this is the first time you're hearing me talk about Kin, Kin is pretty much a platform that connects you with gifted psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers. If you're looking for a reading personalized to your current unique situation, I definitely recommend Kin. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers that are available to you right now. These readers each have unique special is designed to give you a deeper understanding for your situation it's always nice to have confirmation or a second opinion from someone who can give you like a straightforward answer you can choose whatever time is best for you and then you'll be able to connect with them through text message or call you guys know i can't put you onto something without giving you a little bit more like an extra like that cherry on top as a new customer on kin you'll be able to get your first 10 minutes for 199 that's pretty much up to 99 dollars in savings to get your reading started today go Go to trykin.com slash Lucy Benson or simply click the link in the description box below to save big on your first reading. lot of requests to talk about this topic and it made me realize that a lot of people don't really know what it means to romanticize their lives. I'm not going to beat around the bush in this video, I'm just going to go straight to the point. A disclaimer, if you hear any sound, it's quite busy today and I've waited all day to film this video. I can't wait anymore so I am so sorry if there is any disturbing sound that you might hear, sirens and all of that. It's a really busy Saturday in Budapest. I apologize in advance, hopefully you don't hear anything. What does it mean to romanticize size your life it literally means intentionally loving the life that you lead doing things to enjoy your life as it is it could be the smallest thing you just make it look good you just make it feel good you make every situation every experience every event everything that happens in your life no matter how small no matter how irrelevant you make it enjoyable for yourself you make it feel good for yourself you appreciate and you are grateful for every step of the way when it comes to your life when it comes to your journey it doesn't matter what your life looks like you make 
make do with what you have. You make do with the life that you've been given. You are content with what you have. It doesn't mean that you're not working towards, you know, doing more or getting more for yourself. It means whatever position that you are in life, love it a little bit too much. You pamper it a little bit too much. That's what it means to romanticize your life. And I feel like what people don't really understand or what people don't really know how to navigate when it comes to romanticizing your life is simply, okay, what are the things that I'm supposed to do to romanticize my life? I am telling you, any thing and everything. It could be you doing chores in the house. You could be washing dishes. Make it so enjoyable and fun for yourself. Intentionally make the experience of doing chores enjoyable and fruitful and glorious and bright. I'm saying chore because chore is literally chore. Like we all know how we feel when we have to, you know, wash the dishes or do the laundry or clean the apartment. It's not really an enjoyable experience it definitely carries a different type of emotion in our heart so you know how you feel when it's like oh my god i have to do the dishes oh my god i have to do the laundry oh my god i have to clean the apartment you know you know how you feel like you don't you're not really excited like hey i want to do the dishes you get what i mean so you know how you feel when you're doing that but you could make the experience a lot more enjoyable for yourself you turn something that normally causes you discomfort or anxiety into something enjoyable Enjoyable into something fun and fruitful and blissful and all that kind of stuff That's how you romanticize your life. It doesn't really matter at what stage you are in your life It doesn't really matter if you're not happy with where you are It doesn't really matter if you know things are not going the way that you want them to go Love the process love the journey Enjoy it and make do with what you have what you see in front of you Okay, I have oranges and I have pineapples, but I don't have watermelon, but you know what I'm going to make a whole whole different type of concoction or cocktail from just the oranges and the pineapple and it will still taste good and you're going to feel good you intentionally make sure that you feel good with the experience of drinking that orange and pineapple mixture it's the intentionality that's even a word is that even a word is that a word it's you being intentional about the life you live it's you looking at your life and your life it's not perfect it is not what i would want it to be but i love the life i live my progress might be little compared to someone else's progress but the way i would project that little progress of mine the way i would you know express my emotions or my happiness about that little progress of mine even the person with the big progress would be shocked and that's how I want people to live life. Like you live life with gratitude. Romanticizing your life is living life with full gratitude. I'm going to make the most out of the life that I live. It doesn't matter how someone might look at it. It is my bread and butter. It is my all. It is my sweetness. It's my sugar. It's my honey. So therefore i'm going to enjoy it it's sweet to me this is what you project to people like my life is sweet my life is sugar and buttery it's not perfect but it's perfect for me that is romanticizing your life so many things that might seem like too much work or a lot will begin to get so easy for you and you begin to love it because you are intentionally you know putting it out there you're intentionally loving it for instance working out obviously you you know how how working out can be you know how not exciting it is but you need to think how can I make workout enjoyable for me for me I'm not the kind of girl that would lift weights in the gym I incorporate fitness and workout into my life but I have to look for the kind of workout that is enjoyable for me I love Pilates and not because I want to get the low heavy body or I think Pilates does some type of magic or it's going to snatch me it's going to give me this no it's because I genuinely love it like I'm happy when I do the routines with the girls in the studio I just feel good so I look for workouts and fitness things or fitness activities or whatever or fitness routines that make me feel good then it doesn't feel so bad when I have to do it, it doesn't even feel bad at all when I have to do it I'm not a gym kind of girl I would go to the gym you know here and there but I prefer to walk I prefer to do the outdoor type of fitness and that makes me feel good like I could ride a bike for two hours what am i even saying five hours straight with my friend around the city but 
I cannot stomach 30 minutes of cycling in the gym. Do you understand what I mean? So it's not that you can't actually do those difficult things in your life or those things that, you know, give you a headache. It's probably just the setting. So switch things around. When it comes to walking, some people might actually find that boring because like, why would I just be walking aimlessly? Try it, but try with music on. Try it with some other thing or do it with your friends or family or do it with your significant other, your partner, your lover, your whatever. Do it with someone that makes you feel good and then check how it makes you feel. Whatever it is that you're doing in your life, whatever it is that surrounds you at this present moment in life, make it worth it. The life you live is beautiful. The life you live is amazing. Ask yourself, what can you do to spice your life up? Like with what you have, the resources you have, the way you are right now, not really changing anything at all. How can you make things feel good? How can you make things enjoyable for you? How can you make life enjoyable, your own life as it is? That's what it means to romanticize your life. Now, one major thing about romanticizing your life that people don't really talk about so much, but I'll tell you right now is learning to be present, like live in the moment, for the moment. However, just learn to always be present because you might think that you're really in the moment when you live life until things begin to pass you by and then you can't really recall details you can't really place a picture things i always preach because i've been this person i feel like i sped through life and i can't really account for a period in my life if that makes sense i wasn't present i was just on go 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 that i wasn't really enjoying and embracing my now my moment and you really don't want to do that because you know that tomorrow isn't promised one thing that's constant in life is change i always say this in most of my videos so you should learn to live in the moment you need to learn to embrace the moment be focused on what is happening right in front of you no matter what it is it could be as little as when you are having conversations with your friends learn to listen distractions aside like drop your phone be present whatever it is you're chasing is still in front if you run fast and then go there and then you grab it you can't go back to like pick up from where you left off you can't go back to like okay let me scam through monday and tuesday real quick but then you were chasing sunday you can't go back you can go forward but you cannot go backwards that's something that should always be on, on your mind yes we have goals yes we have you know things that we're chasing we want to be done in our life things that we want to achieve i understand and it's good for a, a focused responsible human being to have all of that in place but like today is saturday let's deal with saturday first let's take it one day at a time live for the moment try to be present you enjoy life more when you smell the fresh air smell the roses enjoy your life day after day is the reason why we have short-term goals long-term goals you can also have daily goals weekly goals hourly goals those set you up for greatness it allows you to live in the moment to capture every experience every moment every event every occurrence in your life you capture it with love with attention with focus a major aspect of romanticizing your life is not neglecting yourself and when i say not neglecting yourself i don't necessarily mean self-care now because you know how i always throw self-care into everything i mean romanticizing your life is giving yourself you know a little bit of pampering here and then when it comes to nurturing your skin you know taking care of yourself you know the usual but i'm going to not say that in this video right but i mean gifting yourself you know appreciating yourself for work done i don't care what it is you made it through the toughest time as human beings we all go through different experiences that shape us to be who we are we all Always need to stop and congratulate ourselves for you know the points that we're in because it's not easy it's not easy to be here at this point i don't care what any other person's experience is i am focused on my experience and i know that i've been through a lot and i have fought through a lot to get to this point do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to give to myself congratulate myself tap myself in the shoulder i'm always going to tell myself you did that obviously with the help of god always learn to appreciate yourself always learn to gift yourself no matter how little it is getting yourself flowers getting yourself you know cute little things here and there i made it to saturday it's not easy smiling getting through the week getting through 
through the day with all the chaos in the world right now we are fighting for our lives we are struggling for our lives so you are doing a good job you're still here you look at the life you live no matter what you think is missing from and be like wow this is a lot i did that like it doesn't really matter what it is you would always be grateful for your life and that is where i always tell everyone try your best to practice gratitude it opens doors for you you don't even know i always say be grateful for the bad times the good times the not so good times the disappointments the rejection the heartbreak the everything the betrayals be grateful because it happened to you for a reason it's what you should always tell yourself this is how my path is this is how my journey is enjoy the little things in your life i hope this video helped you in understanding how to romanticize your life let me know your thoughts about romanticizing your life in the comment section below let's have a chit chat follow me on my social media platforms which they're always linked in the description box below thank you guys so much for supporting your girl always i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one bye those you that are listening in your car at your job you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey